Welcome to the Karana habit. Sorry, that's my, my you call it a chuni, right? A chuni or a scarf. This is my, this is my hedgy. I just want to introduce him to all the viewers. <laughs> I love this. This is my, this is our emotional support hedgehog, okay? I got to spend the weekend with my family and they had to go home tonight, so I'm missing them. And this little hedgy is such a solace. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. It's a loving, loving little hedgehog. So, I wanted to talk about a couple of things tonight. I want to talk about the importance of family, the rights of parents, the uh, significance of life. My mom, mashallah, she may all give her a good health and long life and envelope her in mercy. She's a missionary, my mom. She's an, she's an evangelical Christian missionary. She's the most beautiful person. Very upright, very upright, decent woman. Much better than me, really. She's so much better than me. You know, because we don't know, we don't know how long we have. Like a family friend, they have a, a son. My mom, my mom went to Africa to be a missionary. She's been a year there teaching children. And she became very good friends with a family, a beautiful African family. And they've been, they've been lifelong friends. And their son died in his sleep, and he was just a 33-year-old man. It was the baby of the family, like the, pride of the, the pride of the family, you know, like the joy of the family. The strength of the family. And sometimes we get to live a really long life. But we still, to all of we belong and to him is our return. And sometimes we pass on suddenly and sometimes we're given a diagnosis and we only have so many, we're given so many days or years to live. So life is extremely precious and short and every interaction you have with anyone from a shop clerk to anyone in one moment, you can make someone else extremely happy. You can smile at them. You can say something kind or sweet or funny. And, uh, and you can see them light up. You can see a shift. You can literally shift someone's whole day. If you have the right attitude and the right energy and the right intention. And it's so important, it's so important that we do that for each other, because the world really needs that. Everybody needs that. So that's one point I wanted to make, is that if uh, whoever you love in your life, whoever is in your life, that you're blessed to have in your life, you know, if you can hold them, if you can tell them you love them, if you can kiss them, if you can do a kind action, any kind of good deed, whether it's serving them or just any kind of sweetness. It's extremely significant. Making a child happy. Have you ever seen, like, children are so beautiful. Mashallah, mashallah. They're like, they're, uh, they're like heaven on earth. Completely trusting, completely innocent, full of promise. Happy, so happy. No, no demands, very, very few demands, you know. Children, they're extraordinary. 
In the Bible, Christ says, be like the children. Because we're, we're to be childlike. To have that trust, that faith, that innocence, that receptivity, that love. It's just, it's just extraordinary. So I'm grateful to God. And I had a, a, a message from my friend I read the Quran with. And uh, I can't tell you what it's like. It's like we help each other. She is a solace to me. She is... She's a support. She's an extremely, extremely wonderful friend. And we are passionate about the Quran. And we want to read through the Quran, and so we take time to do that together. And then with the Quran habit, I uh, sometimes, I think because recently I've been I've been going just a verse at a time, so I started to think like, wow, you know, I'll never finish that khatam. It could take me forever to get to do a khatam if I go one verse at a time. You know, maybe I should try, like yesterday or the day before, I thought well, I should start reading six pages at a time. But I think I'm missing the point. The point isn't to get through the Quran. The Quran, it's to have the Quran go through you. I need the Quran to go through me. And if I do that slowly and carefully, with devotion, that will happen. So it's not about the end. It's about, it's about letting every letter and word and meaning as much as possible because the Quran has several meanings. There are like depths of meaning. So to let that penetrate my heart, to inspire my intellect to transform me because it's not like any other book it's not like a book you're supposed to just read from cover to cover it's not a novel it's not it's not meant for that and it wasn't revealed like that that's an interesting here's okay Poop, new insight it was revealed slowly over 23 years think about that for just a moment because we don't receive it that way today we have the whole Quran with us and we have practices like reciting it within a month for those who have that practice which is an, is an amazing practice or you know you can recite it with over two months or like maybe it takes three months whatever but you can you can get through the whole whole Quran in a month if you wanted to or even quicker than that but the companions and the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam received it slowly over 23 years so that means it's all right if it takes time. But what that also means is whatever verses came, they, they, they poured over them. They took their time with them. They cherished them. They, those who could write would write them out. It was, it was deliberate. It was repetitive. It was, it was, it's, it's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. So, just those three thoughts. And this is a long video, and I really don't know. I don't know if anyone's out there. But, so, first thought is about being good to one's parents, cherishing life, appreciating the moment, and really witnessing it and witnessing other people. Second thought, having appreciation for all the gifts, innumerable gifts that were given, and the gift of having Quranic companionship. And the third thought about taking our time with the Book of Allah. And that's all right. So, 
it's as long as we're in constant daily habit of being with the speech of Allah that's that's the actual point the point isn't to read through it the point isn't to read through it it is to be with it to be with Allah there is nothing but God la ilaha illallah there is nothing but God la ilaha illallah And the Quran is one of our means and his Habib, love for our Habib, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are means to to experiencing and attaining that that unit. Okay, hi again. <laughs> Salams. It's been an emo it's an emotional night, people. It's an emotional night. No, alhamdulillah, it's a great night. It's a great night. I'm very happy. I'm very very happy, I'm very grateful. So we're going to try to do this, okay? I think you can see clearly the English, so I'm not going to bother reading it. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Kulo anna indi ma tastajiluna bihi Lakudiya al-amru bayni wa baynakum Wallahu a'lamu bidh-dhalimeen Sadaqa Allahu l-azim